Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris. This is my wife, Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and on Instagram. And Kathy has another Ben's haul to share with you guys today. Anything yeah. cool or special to note about uh, this one? Yeah, actually, it's a really good Ben's haul. This is a really good one? It is, to which I was thinking, we haven't done this in the past, but can you put like a little ticker of... I'll try to say what I think each item is going to sell for, and you just kind of like add yeah, it up. Yeah, we'll, we'll add it up in the top. Yeah. Which I guess inherently we're probably not going to be able to follow along here, <laughs> but follow along in the so video. You'll see at the top. Yeah, I don't think I'll know at the end what what the total is, but yeah. I'm hoping it's. Maybe I could record your reaction uh, yeah. to me calculating it all, <laughs> okay. and then we'll patch that in somewhere or something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so we'll do that. Yeah. Before. What do you? What is your guess? Let me get your guess first. So I spent, I want to say about hundred ninety dollars. Okay. And I want to say it's, I want to say it's over two thousand. Ooh. But that's a now I'm gonna bold. Be it's like, like a little bit less than that. So, um, before we get started, I do want to thank we got a couple of coffee supports over the last week or so. We haven't really recorded any videos, so um, one of them just says someone. So I wish I knew your name, but they said thank you so much for all your great content. I watch every video, so thank awesome. you so much for that. And then Debbie bought us three coffees and said thanks for all you do, love Debbie. So thank Debbie. you so much, Debbie. Guys, thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for all that support. We do appreciate it very much. You. Just As got, you can see, <laughs> we just got back from a hotel weekend with some friends. So yeah. the coffee was extra necessary today. <laughs> yep. All right. So yeah, I got a ton of stuff. Um, I don't know if the receipt's in here. Like I said, it was about $190, but I checked out twice. So like one was like 40 something and then one was like 140 something. So I guess the story will come out probably at some point <laughs> about why I checked out twice. <laughs> All right, what do we want to see first? Clothes or shoes? I think the shoes are the more exciting part. So we'll, we'll start with the clothes. That's what I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, by the time you guys see this video, almost all of this should be listed. Mm -hmm. I've listed most of the shoes already. So yeah, we'll just jump right in. Uh, this is a Duluth Trading Co. New tag, just a basic tank top. But um, I'm going to try to be like conservative on what I say stuff's going to sell for. So let's just say $10 on this. Okay. I think it'll be a little bit more, but. And keep in mind the the price that I'm putting up in the corner ten dollars right there yeah. but it's that is in not including the shipping not including shipping but right. it's also not really including cost of goods or selling fees yeah so then like if that's I your end, sale let's price say it's two thousand but we know I spent two hundred yeah. but you charge for shipping so shipping yeah. will be on top so of that separate and yeah. then yeah eBay takes around 13 percent fee or so so yeah yeah and I'm then we gotta pay taxes on all profit. Yeah. There's so yeah, it's it, <laughs> trying to ruin Stop trying to ruin it. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you know, make it obvious yeah. that that doesn't mean we're gonna pocket all no. this money that we're adding yeah. up here. Yeah. By the the final number you see, I'll imagine it cut in half. Yeah. Is what we'll we still also it, have so. to sell the stuff yeah. too. So <laughs> that that hasn't I, happened yet. At least one thing has already sold. Oh. Um, so uh this is just a Talbot's dress, T by Talbots. I don't know if that's like a lower line or something of Talbots. I don't know much about Talbots, but... New attack. Yeah, yeah I bought it mainly because it was new attack. It does have a $90 retail, size small. Kind of not a great time of year probably to sell this, but it's a cute little dress. Um, let's say... Let's say 25. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, it's hard because now, like, what if people are searching for these and I have them listed higher? Yeah. If it's listed higher, I listed it at what I saw comps yeah. buy, so... Just for the video, we don't want you <laughs> to think, like, I'm trying to make way more than I really think I'm going to. So yeah. we also run sales in our eBay store. I accept offers, things like that. Mm -hmm. So for all those reasons, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a little girl's gap dress, which I grabbed thinking once upon a child, but actually I've done pretty well with kids gap. I think this is a cute enough dress to where I could sell it 15 to 20 on myself. So let's just add 15 for that. All right. Yeah, it's, it's in really good shape. Like it was a light color. I looked it over super well for flaws and I think it's honestly new without tags, so. Um, this is a brand I don't know, but I bought it because it was new. It's tag, Zach and Rachel. It has a Fred Meyer tag, which we don't have a Fred Meyer, so I don't know where this came from. Or from Fred Meyer. Oh well, yeah, well, I don't know what Fred Meyer is. <laughs> is that like a? Is I have like no a idea. Store or I have is it no actual, idea. Like, I, like, we I have feel like I've heard of it one time. Like, we have King Supers that has clothes in it now, like the one down yeah. there. Not all of them, but. The King's, Anyways, yep. so I don't know if that. I, I felt like Fred Meyer was a grocery store. Anyways, I thought so. let's just say 15 on this one. Okay. All right, this is just like a Walmart. 
a little elf yeah. costume. I feel like it probably maybe like came with a sleeve tuck, but it, that's obviously not mm. here anymore. Just a, well, I guess it's a junior size medium. Let's just say 10 bucks on this. Probably nothing crazy. I just thought it was fun for yeah. holiday time. Um, this is a new tag. Legendary white tails, which I've done well with the, what have I done well with? <laughs> shackets, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the shackets are a really good piece from this brand. Uh, I've sold a couple flannels around 20. This is just a Henley, so let's say, I mean, it is new a tag. I do think I can get 20 for this, so let's just say 20 on that. It's a nice navy. I like the brown stitching. Um, this is the brand Carved Designs, which I have sold these exact shorts before, but like in a larger size. These are two. I think the ones I sold were like up 16, which usually larger sizes means more money. Um, this brand I used to say was a bolo, but the shorts that I sold of these took a while. So maybe it's not a bolo or maybe just people weren't looking for these shorts. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to say 15 on these. I do think I can get 15 off of these. I've sold other pieces of this brand for like 40 to $50, so... I don't know if it's still a bolo, but if you find the piece, check out that exact piece. Look up comps, Comp maybe. Yeah. Um, got some democracy shorts uh, with the ab stuff, but size four, so not quite as much as if they were like a 14 plus, but uh, let's say 15. I think it'll be more, but we'll do 15 on those. Um, Torrid. All right. Speaking of Torrid, I washed the pair from the last haul that you commented were in such good shape, which they were, <laughs> and then our washing machine ate the button off. Took the button off? Yeah. I wonder if it, was it new a tag or it? It wasn't. It wasn't new a tag, but like since we've been at this house, the butt, a few of our kids' clothes have, the buttons have got chipped off and stuff, so mm. I think the washer is just very... It's just a button eater? Heavy duty or something. I don't know. So we got that out. I was all excited because like this is a top loader and we've had a front loader for ten years and I do not like the front loader so I was super yeah. excited but it's like ruining everything so <laughs> gotta figure that out. Anyways, so tour jeans are great, fine. Uh, these are size twenty. Um, I'm gonna say twenty five on these. Okay. Hopefully they do not get eaten by our washing machine. Yeah. Any <laughs> tips for that? Do we should we put yeah, stuff in I bags? I mean, I can't put everything. In I know. It'll just be such a hassle. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's obviously not everything. Right. So I guess I could, I mean, I'm sure the buttons work. Like obviously if they're open, maybe it's easier to get stuck, but even just like closing every button. I mean, I looked in the washer. It doesn't look like there's very many right. places for it to get stuck. That's so I'm, I'm it doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, it's also been just like strings, like a mm. string will just like roll it out. I'll show you next time. <laughs> we got another Harry Potter Build-A-Bear guy. Okay. Um, Slytherin. The other one I have hasn't sold, so I've sold these in the past for like 30 bucks, but I think they've gone way down in comp, so let's just say $10 on him. Okay. To be conservative. Uh, I did get some stuff for Once Upon a Child, so we probably won't put that in the tally. This is just a Carter's Girl Skirt. Yeah, so this was the first checkout, $44. Uh, this, I just asked Chris if we could use because I did check comps and it wasn't much, but it is still new. A little smart plug. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to use that for, but... Maybe a lamp or something. Yeah, I think those were going for like five to ten bucks, so yeah. not really worth listing. Uh, these are men's Asics, like, running shorts. So, I think they're going to go for, like, honestly, let's just say ten. Okay. To be conservative, but probably more than that. Um... This is a woman within. I mainly got this because I just like to list plus size things. It's a one X, but it's a pretty dress. Yeah. Um, it's in really good shape as far as I could tell. So yeah, um, I want to see 20 on this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this <laughs> dress was funny. I thought this was the front. But it's not, it's the back. Oh, that's it's not bad. a belly hole? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like when I just first held it up, I'm like, well, at first I thought it was a romper too. I don't know. <laughs> the brand is Lulu's, which I've never sold. I know I've heard other people talk about it. Okay. But yeah, that's the back with the back cut out. Size medium. It's so a I've heard dress. Lulu, but I always thought it was like Lululemon. So yeah, is it? Lulu's. Is it? Oh, okay. Lulu? Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I haven't sold it, but let's just say 20 on that. With a back hole? Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, this is a cowboy's hat, but it's camo. So I thought that was cool. Uh, I just need to wipe it down a tiny bit in there, but it's otherwise in pretty good shape. Okay. I think I only bought this because if it was camo, if it was like a normal navy blue cowboy's hat, I probably would have passed. So nice. uh, let's just say $10 on that. This is for once upon a child, just a cat and jack room or dress, I guess. Uh, this is the brand silver. So plus size 20, yeah, size 20, just a pair of jeans, um, yeah, let's say 20 on those. Okay. I don't know if we're getting anywhere near my $2,000 guess. I'm kind of like getting nervous now. <laughs> I think you got a ways to go. Uh, yeah. But. Uh, this is for Once Upon a Child. This is actually just Walmart, but like, this is so cute. Walmart has some cute clothes these days. For yeah. Kids. Uh, this I actually just asked Chris if he wanted, so. He just likes, um, like, especially when he's been working on the house, just like some... Yeah, just shirts I don't really yeah. care about. I, so. I get pretty... <laughs> this isn't really his style, but would you wear this style in the box? I don't know. I, I, it's also, let me see what I look like in it, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's... I like it. I it's wouldn't cool. buy it. <laughs> right. But... I think somebody did this to it. I don't think Carhartt came out with a shirt yeah. like this, so... Anyways. If I like it, man, I may be able to do some more. <laughs> uh, these are some women's cool shorts, so... Yeah. The KUHL? Yeah. Okay. So honestly, these are probably gonna go for like 30, but let's just say, it. let's say 25 on those. You might need to get a little bit more uh, <laughs> I know. 35 on those. <laughs> I mean, if they were men's, yeah. I don't know about women's. Um, this is that, that brand, the Lane Bryant's bra stuff, okay. which I've done well with. Um, but let's say, let's say 15, even though I think it'll be more in the $20 range. Okay. We see. We see oh, bear. he missed us. He did. We, I came back last <laughs> night because we stayed in town when we were on a little staycation thing. So I came out, let him outside, and we met him back in the morning. But he was like so sad when I left. <laughs> I was like, "Wait, you're you're not staying?" <laughs> I've like, been waiting all day. For you. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Prana Men's Henley. Really pretty color. Uh, let's say twenty on that. Okay. I'm very sorry if you guys are looking at my eBay store for this stuff and it's <laughs> a price that higher than I'm saying here. So um, this is for Once Upon a Child Carters, Once Upon a Child Target. Yeah. Once Upon a Child Old Navy. If you're not familiar, Once Upon a Child is a children's consignment, not yeah. consignment, but like a- Buy, sell, trade. Yeah, buy, sell, trade. Yeah. Like, like so Plato's Closet. So they give you closet. cash up front versus yeah. you giving them your stuff and waiting for a check. They give you cash that day. So she'll take a bin. So yeah, something like this. This probably weighs four ounces, so I probably paid 50 cents or so. Yeah. They'll probably give me a dollar fifty for it. So yeah. I wait till I have a whole bin full. Last time usually you got like 120 profit, bucks. Yeah, I usually profit 50 to 100 dollars off a bin. So yeah. And I'm already at the bins. I already touched that stuff, so I either throw it to the side for someone else or I bring it with me. Or just slowly like, accrue a little bit more money. Yeah. Uh, this is just for our kids. This is a Hurley, Hurley all right. Shirt that has some stains on it that hopefully will come out. <laughs> These need washed, but these are area FR. These Fire are, resistant. Yeah, so I got that pair last time. Those had a hole. These don't have a hole, they're just dirty. So I'll wash them and I think um I've sold these for like 50 bucks before. Honestly, even maybe 60 bucks, but let's say just because they're not in amazing shape, let's yeah. say 30 on these. Let me see these pockets. What's up with that? That's just the stitching. That's the stitching. Yeah, That's the style. Purpose, yeah. Okay. Uh, these are for Once Upon a Child, little Target pants. This was interesting. This is a Nike tank top, which I would have never guessed this was a Nike based on the style, but it actually has a little Nike thing right there. This is just like a, I don't know, I think, I looked up the style code, so just like shoes, they have tags on the inner things that have the Nike Everything code. Nike yeah. has it. Yeah, a lot of times people cut so it out, but this wasn't. Code. So I searched the code and it said like Nike yoga tank or something. Oh, okay. So I think I can... Let's just say, let's just say 10 because it's a pretty <laughs> small piece, but I honestly think this will go for like 20 bucks, so. Okay. It's weighs like nothing. Um, some REI women's shorts, women's, yeah. Just like a performance short. Let's say 15 on those. This is a little vintage Gymboree backpack. I need to wash it because it's got some sticky stuff, but. That color block. Honestly, this is probably gonna go for 20 bucks, but let's just say 15 on that. That's pretty cool, yeah. If you find any of the like clothes that look like this, crazy yeah. colors from like the, I wanna say 90s. Sweaters. Those all sell really well. Um, 
vintage Jimbery baby clothes. So these are for once upon a child Carter. What about a, like adult clothes? Well, yeah, but In I'm specifically color. talking about Jimbery. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, no, no, <laughs> Actually, I think Jimbury did make a dope clothes, but I know you're talking about that colorway. Yeah. Yeah, I think that colorway is just a cool thing. Once upon a child. Once upon a child. This is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, I'm going to take this once upon a child. It's Justice, but it says Walmart. It also has a Walmart on it, so I didn't know Walmart sold Justice stuff. Now oh. I know. It's a skirt, though. New tag. Fun buttons. Yeah. Oh, this is really pretty. I believe this is sold at Anthropology, but this is the brand Leaf's Daughter. I don't know. Leaf? <laughs> Leaf's Daughter? Yeah. It's a really pretty bird top. I thought these were stains, but they're not. Like, they're all the way throughout, and I checked other comps, and they have those things, too. So Little splotches, yeah. It's actually in really good shape. Uh, let's say 20 on this. Okay. Okay. This... I don't generally like blazers and stuff, but I did look up a comp specifically on this because it reminded me, well, it is like a Western wear type piece. This is the brand Circle S, but it reminded me of like Double D Ranch or something mm. type stuff. This um, looks like somebody's Sunday best. Right. So <laughs> uh, I did see comps on this for like 50. I mean, it yeah, does a little have bit a of dirty a... and I'm not going to dry clean, so I'll probably try to wash it and hopefully not ruin it. But yeah. Uh, let's just say, let's say 35 on that. <laughs> Put one of those bolo ties on it. Yeah. There you go. Jacket. Ready for that um. <laughs> Sunday potluck. <laughs> Once upon a child. Okay, this is very messy. And actually, I only bought this because I have one that I bought last year that I haven't listed yet. Now I'm going to make myself list them both in the same day. Okay. It's also legendary white tails. Oh, but yeah. this is like the good money type stuff. If assuming I can get all this hair off of it. XLT, so it's got the black sherpa yeah. quilted. And this is wool sleeve. Um, it's just gross. So, anyways, it's just I, fuzzy. Yeah. I think this is about a fifty dollar piece. Assuming I can clean it up better, but let's just say thirty four. Okay. Video state. Yeah, that's for chopping down your Christmas yeah. <laughs> tree. Hundred forty four twelve plus forty four forty seven. So basically hundred ninety dollars. Yeah. Okay. I just got this because you never know when you can need a rat trap, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. These aren't to be on Do we need these? Uh I stuff? hope we don't. <laughs> no, I know we don't need them like right now, but like yeah. this is just something that like just keep in them. Uh it's probably not a bad thing to keep around. They don't oh. expire, right? I mean yeah. so. And I yeah. can't help myself. <laughs> Stuff is new and packaged at the bins. Are you um, going to set them out and, so and collect them? Child. <laughs> um, this is Polar Rough Lauren Pima Cotton. It's had a little bit of wash wear, but since it was Pima Cotton and it was at the bins, I think, let's just say 20, probably a little more, but just a basic sweater. But these yeah. cost like so much money if you have to buy them new. I like that so, fabric. Yeah, it's kind of like a waffle. Yeah. It almost. Um, this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. Thought it was a pretty dress. Um, okay. So mm, let's say 25 on that. All right. Uh, soft surroundings. I heard this is going out of business or went out of business or another brand bought it and they're still gonna make stuff or. They're still gonna sell online. I don't know. Something's happening with soft <laughs> Something's happening. Yeah. I like the brand, so I generally pick it up definitely at the bin. So just a large, it's just a nice waffle knit. Yeah. Sweater. It's got me. pockets. It does. <laughs> uh, let's say 20 on that. Cool. This is for us. Some gingerbread. Oh. Hot holder thingies. Peace Some ginger. Peace. Actually, we do need more hot holders anyway, so. I just, I'm, I'm not using that. I that. I'm not using it. <laughs> um, I don't like potholders. You have to put your hands in. Yeah. Once upon a child, and I do. This is American Girl. It wasn't. The comps were actually pretty crappy on this, but it didn't weigh much, so I did grab it. Bag. Once upon a child does take toys. I don't know if they just take accessories. Mm. Like if this was a doll, they would definitely take it. But I'm gonna take it there and see if they'll take it before I list it. Cause yeah. On eBay, I want to say these are only like five to ten bucks. On Posh, I saw some in like the twelve to fifteen, but mm. 
Yeah, if they take it, they'll give me a few bucks. That'll just be quick cash. This is marine layer. Oh, like it is that. a wool blend. It's like a nice sweater. Um, let's say 25 on that. Uh, this is Kavu, like the bags. Like the bags. But this is a squirt. We all know squirts have been doing super well. So, mm. I don't know. Let's see. Is it pickleball or something? <laughs> Are squirts for like tennis? Or is that? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't play tennis. <laughs> They're not for softball. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure you can wear them for a number of things. <laughs> Did you say I a know. price on that? I said fifteen. Okay. Let's just say fifteen on that. Fifteen. All right. Um, these are LLB women, just like a chino short. Let's say, let's say fifteen on those. Okay. This is an Under Armour. What what college? What do you think? FHU of Florida? Mm. No. Is Firehouse college, University. Or U is University. Right? Firehouse. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm, I mean, I know somebody will know, but yeah, we I'll might need to do a out. Google, I Google lens, but lens. Let's just say ten bucks on this. Uh, these are for Once Upon a Child, Carter's. Uh, this is to list myself. It's Wrangler, George Strait line. I feel like I've sold a few shirts from this line. It is a double X, so I think, let's just say, let's say 10 just to be conservative. I think it'll be a little bit more than that. Patagonia. Aw. A bin strip without Patagonia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah a little stain or something. A little 3T, yeah. But that looks like it should come out easily. This fleece is super soft, so honestly, I feel like someone bought this, wore it, stained it, didn't wash it yet. Mm. I'll wash it, and I want to say conservatively 25 on that. Nice. I can usually get 30 pretty easily, though. And this is also soft surroundings. Um, but yeah, just like a nice gauzy fabric button up. I like, I love the those buttons. Diamond buttons. Yeah. Uh, let's say 20 on that. So. <laughs> I think that was all the clothes. I'm so curious where we're at. Like, obviously, we don't know. What would be your best guess? Out. I don't know. I know I said a lot of 20s and 15s, which isn't a lot, but. Just for fun. Just for fun. Uh, 400. You're way off. Yeah, yeah am I? I'm just, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. All right. I bet you're pretty close, actually. Yeah. You're pretty good at your numbers like um, that. Um. So, yeah, I found a ton of shoes. I don't even know how many. These three are the only uh, four, actually, are the only four I haven't listed yet. Um, so this is the brand Eric Michael, which I don't really know that brand. I just thought this was a nice feeling leather. So I grabbed them. We, you know, we're at the bins. I'm paying a couple bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. The sell through was super slow when I got home and looked these up. So. Let's just say 20. I don't think those are actually going to go for a lot. Okay. Um, got some Vivo Barefoots. Ooh. These need a throw on the washing machine, but one of my absolute favorite brands to sell for shoes, for yeah. sure. Um, these are obviously dirty. They'll probably come a little cleaner in the wash. The laces are a little chewed up on the edges, but I still think conservatively even with all those flaws let's say 50 on this pair okay um and so just yeah the vivo barefoot logo yeah i mean the soles are in great shape check um, for that v somebody can easily switch the laces but yeah okay uh these are kids keens i'm gonna throw them in the wash but let's say just because they're not in amazing shape we'll say 15 on those okay these are gonna go in the wash tivas normally cleaner these are an easy 30 bucks but let's just say 20 for this video okay um i haven't listed this yet and i really don't know it is carhartt but it's just like a the hood, hood so you you can just add it to a jacket okay. um i don't know let's just say 10 bucks <laughs> i really don't know at all on that right um i also don't know on this a little uh, puppy little, is it a yeah. pug it is a pug, it's Shining Stars, but it's like Russ brand. Um, I don't know. Let's just say 10 bucks on that. Pug I life. Think, I think that's at least what we can get. I don't know this brand, Golfino. Okay. But it is a newer tag. Looks like, I don't know, it doesn't have a US price. 
uh, what is like fifty dollars euro in the U.S. Fifty euros, um, <laughs> probably pretty close. Yeah. Or maybe... I think, let's just say... I can't remember. Are euros... Let's just say 10 bucks on this. Okay. Like, honestly... <laughs> well, I know that's not what the... Yeah. But, obviously, I'm not getting anywhere near retail. Even though it is new, um, I think it'll go from maybe 15 to 20 but let's just say 10 on that. Yeah, I imagine that's something that was sold, like, at the pro shop yeah. on a golf course kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So, someone probably spent uh, way more than it's worth <laughs> to buy it. Um, Nike flip-flops, good shape, a little dusty, but let's say 15 on those. Some Sanook, also a little dusty, but good shape. Let's say, let's say 20 on those. A lucky brand, these aren't like a general lucky brand that I would say would do pretty well. Honestly, let's just say 10 bucks on these. Okay. Um, I haven't listed these yet and I really don't know. The brand is Matisse, I don't know how you say that. They do say made in Brazil. I don't know, let's just say 20. Okay. I uh, got some mini Tonka moccasins. These are a little bit dirty and stuff, but let's say 15. <laughs> I'm really trying to like not over say, even though like obviously I'm listing them for more than that. Uh, these are also Lucky Brand. They're in really good shape, except like the weight is a little bit dirty, which is going to hurt their value. Yeah. Let's say 15 on those. Okay. Um, these are Dr. Schulz, so snake skin, snake which skin, sometimes yeah. does pretty well, and really good shape. Uh, let's say 15 on those. And these are some cork E's, so a little beat up on the heels, but, and also obviously that, but like these are kind of already a little bit distressed to begin with, so I feel like just a little beat up isn't too bad. Mm -hmm. In better shape, I want to say I could probably get 50 or so for these, but let's just say for the sake of this video, let's say 30 on those. And I know there's like a couple different kinds of cork, corkies. So this is with the... Yeah, so like corks I think is a little bit of a cheaper line, but these are the legitimate cork The K-O-R-K-E-A-S-C. Oh yeah. And then there's... Cork ease. There is corky shoes that are C-O-R-K-Y. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this aggravation game... Let's see. New sealed? Yeah, new sealed. So let's say 15 on that. I think I listed it at 20, but. Okay. Um, these two finds are probably going to surprise you. We can throw <laughs> up some comps on the screen, but I did show these on my Instagram story the day that I found them. Um, obviously, I'm always looking for plush at the bins. Yeah. Anything new at tag is going to catch my attention. Anything cat is going to catch my attention, regardless of if it's new at tag. So. I grabbed this, threw it in my cart, an hour later, I look up comps and I'm like, holy crap. Uh, <laughs> I saw two pre, there's none listed right now that I could see of this. Um, two sold pre owns for like, I wanna say 55 to 60 bucks. Whoa. And I mean, I listed it as new a tag, it is new a tag. It's obviously been in someone's house, like it's probably, I don't think it was played with. But. Yeah. Anyways, I think I listed mine at 70, but let's just say, let's just say 50 for this video. Okay, but, 50 for the video. And yeah, considering there's none listed, I think I already had a couple watchers on eBay, so. Is it old or anything? It does look a little bit old, I don't know if it has Cause it. Because it looks like a, it looks very real, yeah, <laughs> like for a, a cat. Of, I think people said realistic in, yeah. in their title. It, it does look pretty realistic. There. So, I don't know how old you are. I mean, this looks like a pretty old tag too on the. <laughs> The beauty. What? <laughs> uh, good thing it's not a real cat. You're just oh, like <laughs> giving it an exam right now. <laughs> but like the way the tail moves and stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, that's cool. And this is even cooler. Um, I mean, this looks like. I mean, this doesn't look like. Looks like dollar right. store toy. Right. Like it looks like so <laughs> yeah. crappy. Like I don't even know what year this is from. Snuggly and cuddly bedtime friend. So soft. Yeah. I mean, the only reason I even grabbed this is just because of other people that like I follow <laughs> and sell random plush and things. And I'm like, okay, an old plush in a box at all. Yeah. yeah. In a box. Like I'm gonna look at that. This was in like the throwback bin where like everyone throws their single shoes. So I imagine somebody probably had it in their cart and was just like, yeah, it's kind of beat up and threw it back. Mm. So I grabbed it again, took it to my cart, had no clue. And then when I scanned the barcode, it didn't, I don't think it pulled up anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, man, this has to be something, right? Like, so then I just typed in snuggly, cuddly bedtime friend in eBay. None are listed currently. There's one sold in the last 90 days for a hundred dollars. Oh, that one also was new in box. So. 
I okay. think this will be around 100 bucks. I did, I've already listed this. I think I listed mine. Uh, I want to say I listed at 130 just because I know our sale is going to kick in and things like that. Yeah. I went to Terapeak though just to see if anybody else has sold it. And in the last two years, I didn't see any on Terapeak. So okay. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. It could be a long time till somebody's looking for this. Like, obviously, if you're willing to pay 100 bucks for this, this is something special to you at some point in your life. Yeah. So there's only a few people probably in the world that even cares or yeah. knows or anything about that so and at ben's pricing we can hang on to it until <laughs> right. there's a hundred dollar buyer yeah. yeah so that's crazy yeah um the rest is just these shoes we got some target shoes let's say 10 bucks on those right. um natural reflections i don't even think these are real leather yeah they're not let's say 15 on those they're in really good shape though um more vivo barefoot uh, these ones are dirty. I did not wash them or anything. I'm listing them as is, but good shape on the bottoms. Let's say, let's say 60 on those. Okay. Were they the same size as the others? No. Okay. Spoiler alert. I found more than just those two people barefoot. And they're all, <laughs> I think they're all different sizes. So, oh. um, these are Clark's cloud stepper flip flops. Let's say, let's just say 15. Uh, these are Vans, pretty good shape. Navy with like the gum sole. Um, they do have some gum on the bottom. <laughs> like literal gum. <laughs> literal gum in the gum soles. Uh, it's probably gonna hurt their value. I did try to get it out, but I couldn't get this out, so. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, let's say 25 okay. on those. We could try right. goof off. Yeah. Or not the goof off, the, the other stuff that we have. I yeah, goof off. don't want to. Goo gone, maybe. Okay. I'm just gonna be like, you got gum with your shoes. I'll sell them a little bit. We <laughs> said they're gum soles. <laughs> uh, these are Adidas Sambas, which I know these are disgusting, but honestly, I think I listed these around 50 still. Okay. Um, Sambas seem to be doing well right now. They're, yeah. Anyways, I didn't see any in this colorway listed. Definitely not in this size anyways. These are just a men's nine and a half, but no laces, and even still, I listed them at 50, but let's just say 30. They already have watchers and stuff too, so we'll see. Very nice. Okay. Um, these are, I've never sold this brand, Milwaukee leather. Milwaukee leather. Uh, they are a women's boot, I think. Nah, I don't know if they're, I don't think they're a safety toe. Okay. Anyways, uh, I want to say I listed these at 50, but let's just say, let's say 35 on those. Some combat boots? Yeah. Vivo Barefoot. Vivo Barefoot? <laughs> these are the ones that have already sold, which these are also the worst condition ones. Like, look at those soles. Um, yeah, they're, they're all worn very down. worn down. And then, like, inside the shoe, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but, like, that's kind of, like, yeah, chewed yeah. up. These sold for $40 within, like, an hour of being listed. So Ooh. that was my full list price. Somebody just bought them, even with all those. Yeah. Plus, so Bolo Vivo Barefoot, Bolo, for sure. the Vivo. Yeah. Um, these are Bionics. I think I have some at 35, but Bionics are definitely going down in value. So let's say 25 on those. Okay. Uh, more Vivo with it. <laughs> uh, these ones are leather. I feel like the leather ones do well a little bit better. Um, I think I listed these at 80, but let's just say 60 on those. Nice. Yeah. Uh, these are Bob's camo. They are very beat up though, but Bob's kids at the bins. I mean, I'll get at least 20 bucks. Let's just say 20 bucks on those, even in that condition, so. All right. Uh, these are Sundance. I've never sold Sundance shoes before, but I mean, they look beat up, but I think that's on purpose, honestly. Um, I mean, they look hardly worn at all, so. I listed these at 60, let's just say, let's say 45. <laughs> <laughs> those have a watch or two already also. Uh, found some more Vivo Barefoot. Very <laughs> nice. These are missing their laces. But they are leather um, and in really good shape otherwise. So I want to say, let's say 50 on these ones. These ones are a little bit smaller. I think these ones are women's. I mean, they're unisex, but like these are a 40, which is like a women's nine. So I'm, that'd be like a men's seven. Yeah. All right. Um, we got some Sam Edelman sandals. Let's say, let's say 20 on those. All right. Um, these are the Vibram, but Furo Shiki or whatever, <laughs> like the wrap ones versus the five, like the actual toe ones. Okay. Yeah. 
So these, I think I listed these at 65. Let's just say 50 on those, but I definitely think those will go for at least 50. So these are the actual branded, the yeah, Vibram. Yeah, so it's Vibram. Vibram, like the Five Fingers. They're yeah. just a different style. Yeah. So they also sell their soul <laughs> technology, <laughs> I guess, to others. Yeah. Um, I don't know this brand. I mean, I just got these because they don't weigh a whole lot. And yeah, I think these are just sold on Amazon for maybe like 30 bucks, I think. Let's just say 10 bucks on those. All right. Um, these are some Skechers, like a slipper. Uh, let's say 20 on those. Uh, these are Nicole Miller, New York. I just got these because they were in good shape. They're like a faux leather and everything, nothing crazy. But these actually already sold too. I think I listed them at 15, plus we had a 15% off sale running, so probably only sold for like 12 to $13. But they sold really fast, okay. like in a day. Uh, these are Adidas flip flop. These almost feel like a barefoot flip flop. Like, like yeah, I bet they are. So, anyways, I think I listed these at twenty five. Let's just say, let's say fifteen though on those. I feel like you found a lot of barefoot stuff. I did, and like it, none of these had like numbers on the bottom. So like huh. these were just like raw donations, I guess. Yeah. Is what people say about them. Um, so barefoot is just the. I don't know if you'd call it technology. It's just a, a different kind of sole. It's not really yeah. supportive. It's so you feel like the ground, like almost like walking right. barefoot, right? Yeah, like I think a lot of, I mean, people think it's just better for your feet. Yeah. Like your feet shouldn't be like constrained yeah. so much and stuff like how normal modern day shoes are and stuff. So yeah, yeah just like a, I think that's why they're popular and expensive, yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, these are Yoko now. I've sold a couple of these from like Marshalls, but these aren't gonna go for a ton. They are real leather though. Um, let's say 15 on those. Kind of look like a Birkenstock. Yeah. Uh, these are Reef flip-flops for men, which honestly I usually do pretty well with. These are the nice cushiony ones too. Let's just say 15 though on those. Okay, what else do we got here? Okay, we got Tows, which I do love this brand. Uh, let's say 30. These honestly will probably go for closer to 40, but let's say 30 on those. They are a little bit dirty. Always gotta 30. find some wrestling shoes. <laughs> let's say, let's say 25 on these. I think those will definitely go for 25. Yeah. Wait, we're getting to the bottom and all the good, good stuff. Do you have me pulled out <laughs> the good, good? I am trying to wait. <laughs> these actually already sold. <laughs> these earth, the earth gel rounds that I say always sell fast. They literally always sell so fast. <laughs> um, and these are pretty dirty on the foot beds. I think they sold for $21. I can usually get 30, but with these being dirty, I was like, and they're from the bins, I'll take a quick money. Yeah. Found some Bebo Barefoot. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, these are cool. Yellow. And you said they're all different sizes. They're all different sizes, so like it makes me feel like, I don't know if Bebo Barefoot has like a, I don't know, not like a return or, Oh. I don't know, like some sort of trade-in. Yeah. I don't know, because why else would there be all these random sizes it is of the peculiar. exact same? And like I saw some of these in other people's carts too. Yeah. So there was at least, I think I got seven pairs, spoiler alert, I've showed you probably four or five. Um, and I saw at least three pairs in another guy's car. I'm sure there was more. I found some last time I was at the bins. Yeah. Which is making me want to go to the bins more, like must have like some sort of deal. Like we'll just drop these all off to you guys. Anyways, these ones are a little more beat up. They have that. The lace here is about to be broken up, but the soles are good. So yeah. I think that's what people mostly care about. So yeah. Uh, Let's say 40 on those. Yeah. I think I listed them a little higher than the other pair that sold for 40 just because of the soles, but let's just say 40. Again, it's Vivo Barefoot in the bins. Yeah. So. <laughs> like, honestly, I was telling Chris I've sold a pair of kids' ones with like a hole in them for like 30 bucks. So people just love the brand. Yeah. Uh, these are Saludos. I just thought these were pretty. They're not Cute. in amazing shape or anything, but. Yeah. Embroidered, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's just say 15. I think they'll be a little bit more, but uh, these are Olakai, but they are women's five. So let's say 15 on those. Um, got Maurice's, which is not generally a shoe I would buy like at a normal thrift, but at the bins, these probably weigh under a pound, honestly. Let's say 15 on those. The other Maurice's shoes I found this summer at a garage sale sold really fast, so we'll see. Maurice's? We need more Reese. <laughs> it's getting there, getting tummy rubs. 
Um, so we got some Dr. Scholl's. These are like a wooden wedge. They are real leather. Let's say 15 on those. These are Merrill leather slide sandal. A little bit dirty on the foot beds, but otherwise good shape. Don't knock your coffee I know. over. <laughs> In my new office. <laughs> on my nice carpet. All right. Um, I did already list these. I feel like this model was doing pretty well. I think I listed them at 35, but let's just say 25 for the video sake. Okay. All right, these last four are, I think, the best four. So. You guys ready for this? Oh, there's five here. Let me just <laughs> these, are not cool. these are just hay dudes, which they don't sell as good as they used to either. I used to be able to get like 40 pretty easily for these. Let's just say 20 for the video. It'll probably be like 25 to 30, but All you right. say 20. Okay. Now, so which ones do I show you first? I'm trying to like calculate in my head which ones I think are the best to the worst, but. All right, this is the brand AS98. Um, these aren't in the best of shape. They are a little bit worn down and whatnot. It's gonna probably look worse on the camera than it is. Like they're already kind of like this to begin with. Okay. But like it looks like a lot of heel drag, but I honestly don't think it is. Uh -huh. Anyways. I listed these, I think, at 109 or something. Wow. Um, but I guess for the video's sake, let's just say <laughs> these retail for several hundred dollars, these sandals. Um, I don't know. Let's say, let's say 60, just uh, not, okay. you know. <laughs> like if they don't sell for a long time. Like obviously these are something that's probably not selling every day, so yeah. Um, I got some free birds. Do I, do I tell the what? story about the free birds or do I not? All right, so these are the reason actually that I have two receipts. Um, so the new shoe bin had rolled out and um, I usually try to be right in front of it. Yeah. If you've been to the bins, only like three or four people can really fit in front of there and that's pushing it. So I always try to be right there. Um, luckily I did get in front of this bin, so I'm digging. I've already pulled out three or four of these Vivo Barefoot, so I'm just like still digging. Yeah. And like if you're on the bins, like all I'm thinking about is I need to get more shoes. Like that's all that's in my mind. Like I'm not thinking about <laughs> anything else. I'm not worried about anybody else. Right. Anyways, I guess behind me, so like they can't get to the bin yet. I hear someone and like they're not with me. I'm not with right. them. I'm by myself here. Like I hear someone say, Can you hand me the white ones? Can you hand me the white ones? Can but you're you not really paying attention. Ones? Like, yeah, I'm like, so I hear that in the back of my head, but I'm still just grabbing. I grab a shoe, I throw it in my bag. I'm not checking condition or anything. Yeah. Like, I'm just throwing them in my bag. Anyways, so I finally grab these. I know what they are right away. Like, and then she's like, Yeah, those ones. <laughs> and then I look back and I'm like, I hope she wasn't like asking me to like give her these shoes. Like also I wasn't like thinking these were white, you know what I mean? Like yeah. like this is white. Like Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So anyway, she thought I was getting her these and I'm like, I'm getting these for me, sorry. <laughs> and I put them in my bag and then I still keep going. And that was just an uncomfortable situation all the way around because like when I said that she's like, Of course, and then like stomps off and like just yeah. like, look at the camera right now or don't look at the camera. <laughs> I don't like really look at people at all that much. So yeah. I never actually really looked at this person. I didn't know. I couldn't have told you what she looked like, like if right. I had to describe her to the police or something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. like a little bit later, you know, I already went through the whole shoe bin. You know, they brought out 20 new bins. So then I just start going to the rest of them. Yeah. Just seeing it, what's still left over. Um, and then somebody comes up to me and says, uh, they're just like pointing out my bag and they're like, um, do you sell all those? Yeah. Like friendly, like nicely, which right. you know, sometimes people at the bins are friendly, whatever. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. Yeah. And then she's like, oh cool. I actually wear mine. <laughs> so then I'm like, oh, <laughs> this must be the girl that's mad about the free bird still. Uh -huh. And in my head, like obviously I, I just say, oh cool. <laughs> I go about my business, but like I'm thinking all these things in my head. Like, <laughs> yeah. how do you even know these were your size? First off, right? I want to be cocky and be like, did you know you could just go to the regular Goodwill and they sort them by size for you? <laughs> like that way you don't have to stay here yeah. all day. Like, at this point I've already been here probably an hour. She's was, I think she was there already. <laughs> yeah. Now that I, now that I'm recognizing her face more and stuff, and she's there. I stay here for four hours this day, so she's pretty much there the whole time. Mm -hmm. Anyways. I, so this is about an hour into my bench trip, but I got the free birds. I got all the Vivo barefoots. I'm worried that this girl might take them out of my car at this point. <laughs> so I 
just collect all my nice shoes and then go check out. Go check out, but put them in the car. Because of all this good stuff I found, I'm like, I'm not leaving here today. Yeah. Even though I was like a little bit like I want to, you know, I found enough profit for the day, whatever. Yeah. But I'm like, I don't want to leave. And I'm glad I didn't because almost, yeah. Other than a handful of these shoes, everything else came afterwards. Like the $144 I spent What's came the after. second one? So that yeah. was a lot of good stuff this day. Yeah. Anyways. So, it's scary out there, guys. <laughs> but, like, the last two times I went to the bins, I found a single free bird. So, I was just, like, ecstatic to yeah. finally found a whole pair. And well, and it's, it's I don't know. It's like, awkward. As you were telling, because she told me the story ahead of yeah. time. I was like, do I even tell it? It's gonna <laughs> she was debating like, on mentioning it here. Like whatever. But it's... I don't know if this person watches the channel. I do it's the Goodwill bins. Yeah. I mean, Every like... man for themselves. Like, I, know that's I mean, you hear stories of people each finding one thing and then like, I don't know, rock, yeah. paper, scissors or whatever they do, or, you know, people literally pulling at <laughs> the same thing. Well, like everybody but, would want the free words, right? right? Like I grabbed them in my hand. Right. I don't know. Like even it's if depends. I... It's, whoever grabs them first yeah. has like, I don't know. It's a weird expectation like, that you could just call dibs right, on something. Like I see a ton of good stuff as they're rolling yeah. out pins and I'm like, I can only be in one spot at one time. And if right. I want that thing, I'm going to try to be as close to it as I can. Yeah. You know, so, so, I don't know. It's would you weird. guys have given it to her? Would you Are you guys not? team ginger would or team you? stranger? <laughs> <laughs> if you watch our videos, stranger, I'm sorry. I got I'm sorry. Words. I'm not, not sorry. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you should be sorry. I, even a size eight. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so. Yeah. I got the free birds. I listed these, I think at 130. Let's just say a hundred. I can yeah. actually get an easy hundred for some free birds. So. See, I would have been, I would have, yeah. I wouldn't have set it up at the time, but I, w I would go back and be like, you know, they'll be listed on my store for 130. Uh, that was another thing I was thinking. You can buy them from me if you want. Do you want to check what size they are first though? Uh. <laughs> I'm just like, there's no way this girl's here just looking for herself for hours and hours. Yeah. Like, could be, but if, could be. if you are, I mean, you got to get up there and grab it. Of, I think a lot of the, what they call t-shirt bros, I guess. No. Oh. I know those guys probably sell some of them, but I do think they look for stuff for themselves too. Yeah, it's just like but they're also thing. not saying, "Hey, hand me that." Yeah. <laughs> on a on a yeah, freshly like if pulled I had tossed them thing. to the side and she was like, "Can I get those?" Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but like I'm here for said <laughs> here for me because I want shoes. <laughs> Sorry, I have to. I have children to feed. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I found some more of Evil Barefoot. These I think are the best pair that I found. Really good shape. These, these are, are nice. nice leather, and they're like these are like the Oxford. I've sold a pair of these for over a hundred. Let's say a hundred on these. I'm pretty confident I can get a hundred on these. So, okay. Yeah. Lastly, this is probably the one that's gonna sell for the most. Really? Some Blundstone. Ooh, Blundstone. Yep. And these. We're in the same bin as the Freebirds and all the people barefoots. Um, but somebody, so a lot of people, when the shoe bin comes out, they just throw them on the floor. Yeah. And then they come back and get them. Um, somebody threw these on the floor. And I would, watched and waited, and I watched and waited. Nobody came and, and got them. they never came back. I left them there for like a good five minutes. And then I came back <laughs> and got them, so. Five minute rule. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, there was a whole pile there, and then, like, at one point, there was just these and another pair left. So, yeah. I'm like, I, I think it's safe to grab them. I think it's safe. So. I mean, at that point, who are you to Honestly, know? Honestly, I think if you throw them on the floor, that doesn't count. Right. <laughs> like, it's not the same as... Unless like, you're standing over yeah. them. That, I mean, it's it weird. Bit, like, most people have a bin, but some people... I don't know. So, I think some people might just throw them on the floor to get them off the way to keep digging. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. These are mine now. <laughs> so, I listed these at 200 <laughs> I don't think they'll sell for 200 but they retail for about almost $300. they are in really, really good shape. Um, the treads are great. They have a little bit of a thingy right here. I've sold some very beat up with no insoles for almost 80 so I definitely think they'll go for 100 let Let's say, let's say 130 <laughs> for, for the these. For yeah. the video. <laughs> yeah. So that was my $190 bin haul, which should be huge, covered. huge yeah, haul. So like just the, like just these, basically, I'll get all of my money back, and probably it'll be a little bit in the profit. Yeah. And then, yeah. Awesome. So, is it worth it? Did you make an enemies of the bins? <laughs> I am. I was a little scared. Like, I literally <laughs> wanted to leave. I don't know. Guys, it's I, the I bins. Like I mean, that's just how it is. And if you've never experienced shopping at the bins, try it out it's not for everyone though but uh, it's not <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I don't think you did anything wrong no I don't. let me know 
I guess, in the comments below. Do you think Kathy did anything wrong? And you have to have shopped at the bins to be able to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, where do you think you're at now? Now that you've said wow. it all, just for fun, obviously. Well, we... cause like in my head, honestly, the Vivo Barefoots, Blundstones, and Freebirds I thought were about $1,000 in listings or close to it. Uh huh. So that's why I was saying 2000 in the beginning. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of these are 20-ish, but like that adds up really quick. It does. I think this is like 40 pairs of shoes probably. I think I'm close to that 2000 mark. Close to 2000, you still like, comfortable so. with that? Yeah, okay. We'll see. Okay. We'll see, you guys already know, you've seen the whole time, so. I don't know. Yeah. Well, congratulate her or rip her in the comments. It was a great day regardless. Four hours. Definitely. I've already listed almost all of these shoes. Definitely. And yeah. Hopefully you guys stayed to the end to hear those stories. Well, hey, actually, now that I think about it, these two days alone were mostly these shoes, so. You cheater. I forgot. You cheater. I just thought of it right now. 799 95 So that was up for 40 things, which okay. I think is mostly from this. Stuff. So maybe for all we know, that could be three thousand on there. It could be. I hope it is. <laughs> I could get ten times my money. On. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed and watched the whole video. I know this was a long one, but I think it was worth it alone for the the the, the bin stories. So, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.